I was also wondering if you could elaborate more on the idea of forgiveness. It's something that's very pertinent to my life. All right. Well, and as we it... said, it mitigates the idea of the consequences of negative acts. What more needs to be said about it? Why is it so I'll difficult? I'll say this. You have had many expressions and examples of what you would call masters on your planet throughout your history. Ascended masters, learned teachers, who have created many different kinds of expressions and passion plays and so on and so forth. In what you call your biblical literature, you have the idea of the Christ consciousness being nailed to a cross. People on your planet <clears throat> say, well, he died for your sins. What that really means is, is that when he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, he was expressing the idea specifically that the energy of forgiveness would mitigate the negative consequences for all the people that had actually done that to him. That's what forgiving you for your sins means. That's what the phrase means, is that he died for your sins by teaching you in the middle of that act in the middle of what people had done, teaching that forgiveness was his way of actually relieving them of any negative consequences of the choices that they made to do that to him. That's what that means. So it was a very profound act of compassion and a very great teaching lesson if you understand what the lesson actually was and you understand what forgiveness is. Does that help? Yeah, and, and on that note, um, I'm in the Course in Miracles right now. Oh, all right. And so that, that forgiveness is a huge thing. Um, I'm very interested in the idea of the first separation and the forgiveness of that separation as it is discussed in that book. Well, the idea of the first separation is what we have typically referred to as the angelic realm, the first reflection of all that is, of itself can in some senses be said to be what became the recognition of the angels. The so-called idea of forgiveness enters this equation only in the sense of knowing that there is really nothing to forgive within the idea of simply experiencing yourself from a different point of view. And that by adding the negative polarity into the equation is where it comes into thinking that forgiveness is needed. So the forgiveness in this sense, in this context, as you mean it, is the forgiveness of thinking you needed forgiveness in order to experience a polarized reflection of yourself. Because it's simply one way to experience yourself, and there is nothing necessarily negative about using negativity in a positive way, and therefore there is nothing to forgive if that is the way it is used. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Does. does that help? Yeah, it very much does. All right. Um, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you I very forgive much. you for asking the question. <laughs> <clears throat> no, no, thank no you. forgiveness required. <laughs>